Today we'll be discussing human rights. Human rights is defined as a right that is believed to belong justifiably to every person. There has been many times where human rights has been tested throughout history. Today we'll be looking at a piece of the legislation that has been passed to help advocate human rights and to help better the rights of every civilian in the country. First we start off with the Magna Carta, which was passed in 13th century England, which limited the power of the king at the time, thus allowing the people of its nation to better manage their personal lives. Following the Magna Carta was the Petition of Right, passed by a 17th century English Parliament. Following the Petition of Right was the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution, which we all know granted the United States its freedom from Great Britain. Following those two pieces of legislation was the First Geneva Convention in 1864, which provided care for wounded soldiers throughout the times of war. Following the First Geneva Convention was the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948, passed by the United Nations to try and prevent future international conflict between the people of conflicting nations. The following shows examples of human rights. One of these rights that is the cornerstone of every American is the right to bear arms. Over the course of history, some Supreme Court cases have shaped the nature of how these rights are protected by the U.S. national government. One of these cases is Heller versus District of Columbia. In Heller versus District of Columbia, the Supreme Court decision ruled that an individual has the right to have firearms in terms of the individual's lawful use of this weapon for self-defense and for other law-abiding means. Another key piece of legislation that affected the firearm control was the Gun-Free Zones Act of 1990. In the Gun-Free Zones Act of 1990, firearms were restricted for those who did not have a license to be within 1,000 feet of a school area. This act was overturned in the U.S. versus Lopez case because the court deemed that the regulation of commerce, which was the firearms in this case, was outside the scope of the Commerce Clause granted to the U.S. Congress. The right to privacy refers to the concept that one's personal information is protected from public scrutiny. U.S. Justice Louis Brandeis called it the right to be left alone. While not explicitly stated in the U.S. Constitution, some amendments provide some protections. The right to privacy is most often cited in the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment, which states, No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. The controversial case Roe v. Wade in 1972 firmly established the right to privacy as fundamental and required that any governmental infringement of that right to be justified by completely state interest. Uh, just sending some emails right now. What are you doing? I'm just working on this. Nice, nice. Who are you talking to? Oh, uh, just a buddy from high school, actually. Oh, I gotta take this call. I'll be right back. Okay. No way. Are you taking a picture of my laptop? I just looked something up. Alright. Alright, I'm out of here. Where are you going? I, I, I gotta go somewhere. I'll see you guys later. Is this where I report to sensitivity? Yeah, I work for the NSA. What can I do for you? I found this conversation on my friend's laptop. Okay, and did you just take a picture of it? Yeah, I did. Who, who's your friend? Logan. Okay. What? And he just went to go meet up with him right now. Is he the type of person to do this type of stuff? I don't know. He seems pretty sketchy. Okay, thank you for recording this. We'll be sure to look into it right away, okay? For sure. You can keep that. Okay, thank you.
guys doing? What are you guys doing? Playing FIFA 16. Whoa. Is, is this... This is the news you talking about? Is that why you're being all sketch on me earlier? This is a suspicious activity you were talking about? Playing a FIFA game? I came to my buddy Brian's dorm to play a game. I just wanna go home, man. I just wanna go home. <laughs> I'm sorry that we were spying on you. I got an anonymous tip, and I guess you know we just went into it way too fast. Mm -hmm. Please don't sue us. You know what? Honestly, I understand. I know how rough Kill is. It, these things happen, you know. So it's all good. Thank you for understanding. Oh, anytime. Can I get back to my game now? Yeah. All right. FIFA.